Yeah, we've already done our interview. We have, we Rebecca, you are, we are going to do it again because you are so beautiful. Now tell us something that we didn't cover last time. Uh, did we talk about my album? No. Okay, the title of the album is Dreams Come True. The first single is also called Dreams Come True. That's the title of the album. And it's full of duets with major iconic recording artists. Like? John Sakata, Engelbert Humperdinck, uh, Bill Medley from the Righteous Brothers, Little Anthony, Howard Hewitt, uh, Full Force, uh, Tommy James. Uh, did you record that here in Los Angeles? Yes, we did. Yes. That's wonderful. Have you done an album before? Is that your first? Oh no, I've done lots of albums, country album, a gospel album, uh, yeah. but this is full of inspirational songs that I hope will inspire people to go out and make their dreams come true. And it can come true, right? Absolutely. And you do you that, do you, you have heart. to believe in your heart, yes. do you think about it, do you do like those vision boards that people say really help them? What is your go-to? Yes, and as a matter of fact, we have a wearable vision board, which will be the album, because we have a pendant called the Dreams Come True Legacy Pendant and the album will be enclosed inside the pendant. So it's, it's, a, it's a very exciting project and full of wonderful songs that I hope will inspire people to go out and make their dreams come true. Did we talk about my, my film as well that I'm Please. working on right now? Please. It's called Canaan Land. I play a gospel singer and evangelist. You're going to be singing in the movie. Yes, I am. In fact, uh, one of the songs on the album is also going to be the title uh, song in the film uh, called Much Greater Love that we did as a duet with Jason Crabb, the Grammy and Dove winning, award winning gospel singer who has an amazing voice and it's a beautiful song. Do you sing gospel on church on Sunday? Can we go hear you singing somewhere? As a matter of fact, I'm doing a solo this Sunday. Yes, I've sung in church since I was a little girl. Yeah. Is there a church we can go to that you want to share or just we'll find you? Uh, you can find me, but I sing at a lot of churches actually as a guest and then I have a little church that I is close to my heart. So. Beverly Hills? <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I, I've gone to a lot of big mega churches but uh, when my mom passed away a few years ago, um, I started going to a small church where they do the old hymns because those really speak to my heart. I grew up singing in church and you know, I love the old hymns. You know, that's my way of communicating with God. So, yeah, I do a lot of contemporary Christian music, you know, as, as we all do, but um, there's something about the old hymns that's kind of special. I love it. I used to sing. I used to be an altar boy, so. No kidding. No <laughs> kidding. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Well, it's, it's nice to meet somebody who also has those those values, and that's what tonight is all about. You know, family values and supporting family so, entertainment. So, so, so important right you know, now. When I hear from a lot of Knight Rider fans, you know, that grew up watching the show and said it was sort of like a little morality play, you know, where the where the good guys always win, and and that teaches you values. You know, it's what's it, wrong with that? It re yes, and it reminds us of how important entertainment is and how it can influence young minds and have an impact on their values and and how important it is that we really pay close attention to we, what we put out there. So. I was just going to say that young minds, you said it perfectly, but there's children watching these shows and you have a big influence on them. So thank you for doing all the work that you do. Thank you so much. It's been so nice to talk to you tonight. Enjoy the evening. Oh, Rebecca, you made the evening. Thank you so, so much. You are so sweet. Thank you.